हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रोसेस ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ब्रॉट टू यू बाय योर वेरी ओन अन अकेडमी दिस लेसन नंबर वन डील्स विद द सिलेबस एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू डीएनए दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी विमल सिंह राठौर I have covered I have done my MSc in biomedical sciences from Dr B R Ambedkar Center for Biomedical Research Delhi University I have cleared gate biotechnology exam and central armed police forces for assistant commandant examination You guys can follow me on anacademy at this user link Now let us see the official prescribed syllabus of AIPMT and the topics which we have to cover We have to see the the principles and process of biotechnology genetic engineering or recombinant dna technology we have to see the various applications of biotechnology in health and agriculture its various products transgenic animals and some issues like biosafety biopiracy and patents this topic is very easy and very important from the examination point of view you can easily expect three to four questions every year from this topic the reference book will be the ncert and true men's biology Now, before going further into the topic, we should know about the DNA and its structure. Now, first of all, what is the importance of DNA? Do any one know about this? So, let me tell you, DNA is the most significant biological molecule or bio molecule which transfers information from parent to the offspring. Okay. it means it transfers the hereditary information from parent to the offspring therefore it is known as genetic material but it is not to be confused that dna is the only genetic material rna also acts as genetic material in certain organisms like you can see rna as genetic material in various viruses and various phages but with the evolution what happens that dna is more stable as you can see it is double stranded and double helical structure while rna is mostly single stranded so because of the stability of the dna it has evolved to be the most prominent genetic material but it is not like that that dna is the only genetic material okay so next point is we should know about the structure of dna what should be the structure of dna i just told you dna has the double helical and double stranded structure as you can see in the diagram this model was given by watson and crick so how it is double stranded as you can see in the diagram there are two strands this number 1 and this number 2 so therefore dna is double stranded now this is coiled in the form of helix so therefore it is helical structure so according to the watson and crick model dna is double stranded double helical structure which are which runs anti parallel and complementary to each other now the new the new two terms arises what should be the meaning what is the meaning of anti parallel and what is the meaning of complementary the anti parallel simply means that the two strands of dna are run uh, one one strand of dna runs from 5 prime to 3 prime end while another strand of dna runs from 3 prime to 5 prime end therefore they are anti parallel now the complementary property of the dna is provided by the nitrogenous bases as you can see in this diagram this is the detailed version of this double helical structure this is one strand and this is second strand and these in the middle are nitrogenous bases which are represented by a t g c a stands for adenine t stands for thymine G stands for guanine and C stands for cytosine. Now again, let me come to the same point: nitrogenous bases. Nitrogenous bases can be divided into two categories: number one, purines, and number two, pyrimidines. Purines contain, and this division is solely on the basis of the ring structure. Okay. Now, adenine and uh, purines contain includes adenine and guanine, while pyrimidines contain cyt. cytosine and thymine now there is one other nitrogenous base known as uracil this uracil is only present in rna not in dna and 
in the place of thymine. So, in short, we can say that thymine is replaced by uracil in RNA molecule. So, the next property of nitrogenous bases are that purines will always and will only combine with the pyrimidines. So, as you can see in this block, in this diagram, this adenine is a purine which is forming two hydrogen bonds with the thymine. And this is very specific that there will be, there will always be only two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine and three hydrogen bonds between cytosine and guanine. So, adenine is purine and thymine is pyrimidine. Similarly, guanine is purine and cytosine is thymidine. So, hence, you can see here itself that this is the complementary pairing of nitrogenous bases. Do you understand this, these two points? What is the meaning of anti-parallel and what is the meaning of complementary pairing? I hope I am clear about this. Now, the next concept is what are nucleotides? So, we can see in this diagram, there is this P, this S, this A. This P, S, A forms one nucleotide. Now, what is this P, S, A? P is the phosphate group and S is the deoxyribose pentose sugar while A is the nitrogenous base. These three include a nucleotide unit. Now, these nucleotide units are attached, they are bonded with each other with the phosphate bond as you can see in this diagram. Now, this chain of polynucleotide forms one strand of DNA while the chain of another polynucleotide forms another strand of DNA. So, this is the detailed structure of DNA what you have just seen. Now, the next concept is what may be the gene. So, according to the modern concept, according to the modern research, gene is the sequence of nucleotide on the DNA strand. Obviously, it is the part of DNA strand. So, gene is the sequence of nucleotide which codes for a specific protein. Okay. So, gene, a protein is the expression of gene. So, we can say there might be multiple genes on a particular strand of DNA. So, these are some basic concepts we just studied about the structure of DNA. Number one, DNA structure is double helical. Number two, DNA structure is double stranded. Both the strands are anti-parallel. Both the strands are complementary to each other and are joined by the hydrogen bonds. The number of hydrogen bonds are very specific. The, they are number. They are two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine, and three hydrogen bonds between guanine and cytosine. Number four, what are nucleotides? It is the unit which comprises of phosphate group, this S, deoxyribose sugar, and the nitrogenous bases. Number five, this concept of gene. Gene is the sequence of nucleotide which codes for a specific protein. Okay. Like the gene of melanin will code only melanin pigment. Okay. So here I complete this lesson of the introduction to syllabus and DNA structure. Hope you guys will like it. And if there is any kind of doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching the lesson. And spread the word. Because learning is priceless. Thank you. See you guys.